Hello and welcome to this presentation about the tools model in the OPC UA companion specification for machine tools. My name is Tonja Heinemann and I will explain to you two different kinds of usage which will be called static and dynamic throughout this presentation. So at first, let's take a look at the part of the model. There is a video presentation about the whole machine tools model. For today, we will only look at the equipment part. Equipment contains a node called tools and tools is a tool list as indicated by its type, tool list type. In this list, there are individual tools represented by the tool type. Each of those tools can have a tool life entry, but we will no, not go into that detail further today. The main takeaways from the model are that the tool list type structures the tools with has component references. There is no limit to the number of tools. There can be as many nodes as needed. And there's also no minimum number of tools. So an empty list is perfectly fine. Going on in this presentation, I will not use the OPC graphics anymore because they take up a lot of space. I will shorten them to the graphics you can see on the right hand side of this slide. The tools list is a bigger box containing each individual tool node. Each node is one rectangular box with uh, the browse name written within and the component name written below it. The value for the component name is written after this equal sign. And if the value is not set, it is indicated with the brackets. Now let's take a look at the dynamic usage first. You have seen the tool list that can contain any number of tools as individual OPC UA nodes. So why not represent each tool as a node and have as many nodes as tools available on the machine? Going from left to right on this slide, if I initially have one tool in the tool magazine of my machine, I would have one node in the tools list. So it is the three millimeter drill in this example tools list contains one node representing the one tool in the machine. Now, while using the machine, I add another drill to the tool magazine, a six millimeter drill. In that case, I would add an OPC UA node to the tools list. That new node represents this six millimeter drill. So all of its components are set for its values. If I later on decide to remove the three millimeter drill from the machine tool magazine, I will also delete the node representing it. So I am, uh, I am done with a list that contains one tool, the, the second tool, the six millimeter drill, and it doesn't contain the three millimeter drill anymore. When using the list in a static fashion, I decide upfront how many tools my machine can handle at the max. In this example, this is two tools and it is the same example as you have seen before. Initially, I have one tool in the tool magazine, the three millimeter drill. The first node represents that three millimeter drill and all the components are set to the drills values. As I said, I can handle two tools. I have a second tool node but I don't have a second tool in my machine. So that second node doesn't contain any values. None of its component values are set. If I now add the six millimeter tool to the tool magazine of the machine, I will fill in all of these component values. So the second tool node is still there and its components now represent the six millimeter drill. The first drill is still there as in the previous example. In the third step, I now remove the three millimeter drill. And I will represent that by emptying all the component values of it, of its node. The node stays there. The tools list still has two components, two entries, but the tool one entry doesn't contain any values anymore. The second node is unchanged. The six millimeter drill is still in the machine tool. So to recap, let's compare the dynamic and static use 
from the service perspective. In the dynamic use, initially I have all tools that are available in the machine instantiated in the tools list as, uh, as OPC UA nodes. If there is no tool in the machine, this list is empty. In the static case, I initially have as many OPC UA nodes as the machine can handle tools. So the maximum number of tools the machine can handle is available as nodes in this list. For each tool that is actually available on the machine, values are written in these tool nodes. All the other tool nodes are empty, it, their values are not set. If a new tool is added, in the dynamic case a new node is added. All the components of that new node represent the new tool. In the static case, if a new tool is added, the values of one existing node that was previously empty are set for the respective new tool values. If a tool is removed from the machine, in the dynamic case, the node is deleted, it is removed from the list. In the static case, if the tool is taken out, the component values of the respective node are set to empty values again. One last aspect about the dynamic and static usage is the tool's server facet. The important takeaway is support of the tool server facet is possible for both options. So both for the static usage of the tool list and for the dynamic usage of the tool list, this facet can be supported by an OPC UA server. The conformance units, machine tool equipment dynamic tool list, event propagation and event tools are all optional in this facet. All three of them shall be implemented if the dynamic tool list is implemented, because the events conveyed by the conformance units event propagation and event tools are used to inform a client that the dynamic tool list has changed. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.